certain Latinos even look at us like we ain't shit. You even have certain Latinos who be treated better than us. Because being the head tribe, the curses are on you hard. Because you're the head tribe. It's only right. That's why we're the most hated. But yet, we have so many talents and things. Most of us want to consider street life. Most of us want to consider rapping. history we settle for less man we settle for a big booty bitch but she a hoe she probably done sucked off so-called two three best friends within a week but then she coming home to this guy and he's like, that's my man that booty that's all me no one ain't all you man you think that's all you you just ain't living you know all right bro take it easy man you're from the tribe of judah man and if you're not from the tribe of judah you're from one of these tribes either way it goes you that's all that matters. I don't give a damn if you're from the tribe of Gad or Native American. You, you an Israelite. I know that through your spirit. You know what I'm saying? So consider that. Give me time. Uh, go to YouTube. Type in uh, GMS people, Israelites. A whole bunch of things should pop up. Yes, Great Millstone. Now, Great Millstone, there's, there's many Israelite camps out there. But GMS, there's a man by the name of Tahar. He's one of the best Israelite camps out there. He's been in this truth for 30 years plus, bro. He's been out here pushing the word since he's came into the truth. He ain't stopped yet. There's other Israelite camps who have a problem with that man, but they ain't been out here diligent like him. Masons really, that's a uh, fraternity, a secret fraternity. They're what you will call the uh, lesser Illuminati. You ever heard of the Illuminati? They're just a smaller branch under the Illuminati. A lot of police officers, doctors, judges, lawyers, a lot of them are Freemasons. A lot of rappers, a lot of R&B singers, celebrities in general, a lot of them are Freemasons. But really, all that goes back to Satanism, devil worship. They don't tell you that when you first come in. When you build up the ranks, my, my grandpa, he passed away, but he was a, a 32 degree mason. I didn't know anything about it until after his death. So I kind of discovered it and researched it, and I was kind of intrigued by it, seeing that my grandpa was a mason, and then finding out the truth like that. These motherfuckers worship the devil straight up, man. That's what I was thinking too, though, but I was like, nah, because my dude, like, my friend, he's so nice. He's always kind of like, he, he never be a pain. He always told me to do weird this, go out the streets, get your job, you know. See what I'm saying? Y'all know you just heard this shit. Yeah, fucking okay. nigger. That's the spirit. The Lord just showed you right there who the devil is, bro. He said you fucking nigger. You think, see, I don't just come out here for no reason, man. <laughs> Fuck these Edomites, man. This is we about to take this shit over, man. For real, That's man. Crazy. And the spirit just showed that to you, man. Just in case you ain't chicken. Bro, they talk like that when they among themselves only. Cause if we ain't like we used to be, bro, they know you do that shit. Now you don't get fucked up, man. They talk that nigger shit when they by themselves. <laughs> when they when they with five, six other white people, can't stand them damn niggas. Bro, you talking about that one nigger? You need to dump that nigger. Leave them niggers alone. That's how they talk to their sisters, their daughters. You know what I'm saying? But when they're around you, hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, how you doing, man? How you been? You be like, oh, what's up? How you? Doing? You be all happy with them and shit. Don't like you, man. They hate you. So from this point, from this point, if you think differently, 
Lord gonna look at you like, man, I even showed you a couple of times. You still don't want to believe it? The Lord might put the, uh, the, the police on you and gun you down for that. You know what I'm saying? For real. This is uh, Sirach 12 and 10. Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Who's the wicked? The white man. His wickedness ain't gone nowhere. So just like how iron rusts over time, the rust ain't gonna disappear and go nowhere. They wickedness ain't going nowhere. Just because they can hide it and be deceitful, they're devils. That's what devils do, they deceive. Some of the most brutal serial killers went to work. Nice, got along with people. Then when they did it, everybody always says the same thing. I never thought he would do that. He was so nice. I didn't think he would kill 20 people. I had no idea. <laughs> you know, but they're the devil. They, they're, they're good at hiding their true intentions with you, man. But the Bible tells you this stuff. So never trust your enemy. But you know what? That doesn't just apply to the white man. It also applies to our people who are down with the white man. Don't trust them either. Don't trust these heathens. Matter of fact, anybody who don't really believe in the Bible, full circle, don't trust them. Because the Lord ain't dealing with them, bro. If the Lord ain't with you, Satan can get you whenever he wants to. Your best friend, he might not believe. Your best friend might jack you because the spirit of Satan hop on you. He rob you. He keep eyeing your woman behind your back. Or, or telling your woman lies behind your back and she acting different towards you and you don't know why. Because the spirit of Satan can jump on people, man. So yeah, the so-called white man in general, but your own people are also the devil who ain't down with the Lord, man. Because back in the ancient days, matter of fact, when you look at uh. But your so-called brother, he in your house when you ain't there, doing who knows what. He plotting on you. The white man, he a little more content because he took over the whole world. So they ain't really tripping like that. They still hate you, though. But your brother, he in poverty at that, and he hates you. So a lot of times, your own people can be worse than the fucking devil. The Lord, he's still going to uh, take the sins off of them. They're going to be in the kingdom. But on this side, they're going to die. Lord gonna fucking kill them, man. Anyone else went down with this truth? I promise you, the Lord is gonna kill them. And in Jeremiah 17 and 6, it says, Don't pray for these niggas. Don't pray for these niggas. It's the same thing you pray for. Ecclesiastes 6 and 7. 
if thou wouldest give a friend, prove him first. Read that again. Ecclesiasticus 6 and 7. If thou wouldest give a friend, prove him first. And be not hasty to credit him. So don't just prove him first. Don't just call anybody your friend. Hey, you look like you my boy. I just met you last week. I don't know shit about you, man. You gotta prove yourself first. Can I trust you with a hundred dollars? Can I not trust you uh, around this or around that that I, that I own? I don't know you from the back of my hand. So the scripture's telling you, don't be quick to credit somebody, or you might go to work or somewhere and you might be thirsty. Somebody might give you a million dollars. Oh, that motherfucker, cool. that's my dog right there. You being quick to credit somebody, you don't know shit about that guy, man. Just because he gave you a dollar and get a soda. Maybe he bought you a million from Oh, that, that nigga, that's my guy right there. That's simple money. That's stupid, man. We, we live in a wicked ass world, man. And all these people out here are in darkness. And the scriptures tell you anyone not speaking according to this word, they have no light in them. None of these people are speaking according to this word, man. A lot of them have Bibles. Dusty, pretty much just decoration for the household. But then when they when they open it up, the first book that they go to is John 3.16, for God so loved. They don't even know what that means. Because they don't know the definition of words. When you look up the context of that verse, it's not speaking of the world as a globe. It's speaking of world as in a, uh, a harmonious group of people. Cosmos. Just like you have the world of rap music. You have the world of football. You have the world of cooking. Well, that was speaking to the world of Israel, not the world as in earth, the world as in cosmos, a group of people. That's what that goes into. And you got to get into the Hebrew and the Greek to know that stuff. Because when you read certain things in this Bible verbatim, you're not going to get the full understanding. You know what I'm saying? And I still don't. Sometimes. Exactly. Like, you need, you need kinda... But it's cool that you say that. You need a teacher. We all need teachers, man. You know, before I came into this church, I had to be taught this. I didn't just wake up out of my sleep and the Lord was like, let me, let me whisper, let me, let me give you a secret, brother. Let me tell you some things that not many people know. No, I had to learn through other people. But the Lord has to deal with you to even be taught by somebody else. Because if the Lord's not dealing with you, you can be taught left and right, up and down till your face turns blue. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get it because the Lord ain't fucking with you. Period, man. The Lord is rough, man. Matter of fact, when you go to Exodus, bro, a lot of people think the Lord is just some bitch ass dude. He just passes. Listen, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy that you said this because we had a conversation. I said, the Lord said, I'm going to He said, the Lord slaughters. Hell yeah. <laughs> My sister said yeah. that. I said, what she said? He's the biggest murderer, slaughter ass. He ain't no murderer, but he he's a killer. Murderer, he, he, he is a fucking killer, killer bro. Yeah, killer. He, he killed people. Slaughter. Anything. Matter of fact, they eat anything. 